How does this actually work? Explain that to the fans. Yeah, so you'll see on each car, there's a camera. And that camera, as the car is driving, the camera is actually taking pictures of the track and it's able to figure out where it is on the track and it sends all that information back to a phone. So you got an app running on your smartphone that basically controls the whole game. How did you think of that? Like, how did y'all really think of that? Like, for real, man, who thinks this? Like, who thinks of that? Like, that is genius right there. Now, the question I have for you is, in terms of these tracks, can you build them the way you want to build them? Or does they just come at, in, in terms of a set way, the way you buy it? Yeah, I know with Anki Overdrive, these tracks are actually magnetic. So these are special magnets that if you hold them like this, they go, they just snap right together. And that lets you build whatever you want. Yo! And you can bust it out. You can put it together in two seconds. You take it apart. Um, our car designer, you've probably seen a lot of his work, Harold Belker. Mm. He used to do a lot of work for movies, so he did all the cars in Minority Report, Total Recall, designed the Tron light cycles. So you've seen a lot of his stuff already, and he did um, great work designing these cars. But over time, you know, a little bit down the road, I think it's a great opportunity to partner with some of the some of the other car companies. Now, when you're steering, how was you guys able to make the balance work in terms of the technology? Like it's like that? A trial and error, over and over and over and over, and we just keep playing it and playing it and playing it until it feels good. Okay. Now, I'm gonna say something which I'm not even sure if this is possible, but I'm just throwing it out there. But because it's through an app, is there any kind of way where, let's say, I had this set up in my house? And a friend of mine had his set up in his house. Is there a way where there's some sort of like, I know this may sound crazy, but there was some sort of online multiplayer way to make this work? Well, all these cars, right, they communicate through the phone, right? Yeah. If your phone's online, that's the kind of thing that like, you can't do it yet, but it's totally within the possibilities. Oh my God. So you could be playing in your house, I could be playing in my house, we both have tracks set up. So that's something that we haven't God. we haven't done that yet, but people keep asking for that, and that's yeah. something we might do down the road. Yeah. Now, personalization that's something that's big with me. You got a, like you got a lot of companies right now where you can put skins on your system, skins on your controller, you know, and stuff like that. Have you guys um, thought of something where you know maybe you got like a little logo you can slap on the car to kind of like solidify it as yours and stuff so like there, that? There's stuff you can do already in software, right? So you can customize your weapons, you can make your engine upgrade, you can get acceleration. So as you race, you earn all these points that you can use to customize your vehicle. And uh, oh and then on the outside, we got a lot of people that, that paint the cars and they send us photos of all this like, intricate detail and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, personalization is something that everybody wants to do. What's some of the other things that you guys have thought of since this has been born? And four to five years from now, where do you think you guys will be at? We want to bring toys to life, right? We want to make toys smart so that they're just a lot more fun. Right, so this is just one example, right, of a toy that comes to life and you're playing basically a video game, but in your living room, right, on your living room floor. And we just see major opportunities to make toys smart, make them aware, make them much more interactive. So you get better, they get better, and it's just a whole new type of play.